Hi, welcome to the Aaron Schwartz channel. Now, as some of you may know, I actually have had a thing for wristwatches since I was a seven-year-old boy when my next-door neighbor's mom, Carol Mayo, gave me a Casio, a little yellow guy with a small resin strap she got at Costco. Well, fast forward to 2006, I got one of these right here. It's a Citizen Chandler. Eco drive with the H101 movement. Entire movement is designed in the field style, field watch style. This is a throwback to the 1940s military watches. It's a polished steel case. This is a dark drab green NATO band with um, metal reinforced holes and a nice stainless buckle dual retainers here. This one slides around. The lugs are not drilled through. The crown is not a screw down type. It, it is a little tricky to pop out, but everything's loomed out and it features uh, solar panels under the dial. Uh, you can't really see that, but what happens is the solar PV panels, they're thin film silicon and they're very thin. They take light that would be normally charging this luminous movement here, and they convert it to DC electricity to charge the tiny Panasonic lithium titanate battery. And then energy from that battery and solar panel drive the quartz movement, R really well-made uh, citizen uh, internal all metal gear H100 unit, no jewels, super long lasting. I have another one of these from 2006 that's still working. Uh, this one's from 2021. I had misplaced my original, so I ordered this one. That's mineral crystal on the front. I love the industrial design and the drab green color. It wears relatively light. I think it's around um, 70 grams. It's really lightweight. It's beautiful, it's efficient. You never have to fiddle with it. The calendar works great. The days work great. It's a high contrast movement. You can see it easily in the dark. Let me grab a UV flashlight and we'll demo the uh, loom function. So this is a UV flashlight, like that. And if we hit the um, ink on here with the UV, what it does is it rapidly charges. All right, with the lights turned down a little bit here, we're gonna go ahead and pop the UV off and you can see the dial's luminous, the hands are luminous on the minute and the hour, even the second hand has lumen phosphorescent pigment ink. It's a nice light blue, long persistence, glow in the dark ink they use. This means that in low light, let's say it's a normal day and you go to bed at nine o'clock, but you wake up at 4 a.m. You want to see what time it is. This loom has just enough light in uh, very low light, nearly perfect darkness to see what time it is. And then as soon as it's exposed to natural light again, it starts to charge up. Obviously, you want to see what time it is. This loom has just enough light in uh, very low light, nearly perfect darkness to see what time it is. And then as soon as it's exposed to natural light again, it starts to charge up. Obviously, uh, five minutes with a bright flashlight or a couple of minutes with a UV flashlight will fully charge the forbidden band parts of the small europium-doped alumina phosphorescent powders that give the loom the function. The loom eventually wears out, but you can take the, um, the whole watch apart and very carefully with the end of a needle, you can repaint loom onto the original movement uh, using a microscope or a jeweler's loop or something some kind of strong magnification. A lot of times people will scrape out the old loom to put a fresh layer of loom, especially in the hands. That depends on how detailed you want to be. This watch was $167 on Amazon. So whether it's worth the time to spend three hours relooming the dial in uh, 10 years or whenever the, the loom stops working well, that's entirely up to you. I happen to love the design of this watch. It's crisp has good legibility, easy to read at a glance. If the, the movement was jeweled, it would probably be even better. They do use metal gears though, instead of plastic. That gives their uh, movements more endurance. Oh, and then when the lithium titanate battery fails, you can change it. You just open the screw back on here with a watch opening tool and then zoom in with your phone or some kind of microscope or something. Read the number on the tiny little rechargeable battery and then order one on eBay, Alibaba or Amazon and then replace it. And then you get another 12 or 15 years of use. There you have it, the Citizen Chandler, one of my favorite wristwatches.